On the fourth day of Christmas, Stacy gave to me a Christmassy nail tutorial. Hi fellow makeup fiends and welcome to day four of the 12 days of vlogmas. Today I'm going to do a Christmassy nail tutorial for you. I'm going to do this on one hand and I'm going to do five different designs to give you a little bit of choice what you want to choose from and which one you want to do. They're quite simple designs and easy to follow. I'm just going to put the, na the basic nail colour on each nail and then we'll get down to the decorative part which is the most important part. Sorry that this vlogmas is not a kind of on camera one. Had a day of sort of tidying and cleaning, got no makeup on, my hair kind of shoved up and needing a wash. So just thought I'd give you a Christmassy nail tutorial for today's vlogmas instead. Okay, so keep watching. Okay, so I've now done a coat on each nail and we'll go over what those colours are. So on the thumbnail, this is two coats of red alert, very bright, sort of even a fire engine sort of red colour, very pretty. I've just slightly smudged it, I'm just not having very much luck with this nail tutorial at the moment. So that took two coats to get that intense red. Then two coats on this finger. And this one is called Evergreen. And this one has a metallic, a metallic sort of green shimmer. It's perfect for what I'm looking for for that nail. On the next nail, I've got white. This is called Snow White. And that is two coats of white. And I've just dented that one as well. I just, oh, unbelievable, but that should be okay. Then on this nail is one coat of In the Navy as you can see is a very very deep navy colour and then on the last nail is cherry pie which is a garnet sort of colour but it's a frost very much reminds me of the musky amethyst lipstick from MAC and then I've got a glittery one there but that's actually for one of the finishes on the top so we're going to start with the thumbnail and this one is going to be um, a Santa Claus sort of idea, this one. So I've got my little nail art pens here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is give Santa Claus a belt. Now, let's see, I think I might have to use the brush for this one and I'm hoping this is not... Well, this is damaged, but never mind, I should be able to manage. So you just want to draw the belt. You want to keep it fairly low. This is not easy with a damaged brush. There we go. So that is going to be Santa's belt. Then what you want to do ideally is you need to give him a bit of a beard before this one's damaged as well. Before we um do well what we're gonna do is sorry, we want to give him a beard on there. Um, and we want to do that ideally before we kind of do the buttons because we need to see how much room we've got to put a few buttons on there. And if this doesn't work with the pen, I can always get use the white nail varnish. These the only thing about these models on nail art pens is they do clog up quite quickly, and you do have to keep getting the needle and putting it down the nib which is a bit of a pain to be honest so put that one to one side we're going to take our snow white and just going to give him a little bit of a beard at the top so it doesn't really matter if you're a little bit rough here I mean it's a beard it doesn't you know a nice sort of semicircle is ideal and then what you want to do is you want to put his buckle and his buttons in. And it's up to you what colour you choose for this. I'm going to go with this silver one. Um, this is the one I got from Boot Boots. This one's really good. And what you want to do is you want to go in and draw the buckle on. So I'm just kind of going round in a square. There you go. It's not the. It's 
not the glitteriest of silver rusted silvers unfortunately but we'll add a touch of glitter in there so there is his buckle and then we've only really, really got room for one button So that one there is Santa Claus, it's very very simple, basically it's just Santa's belly really, with his belt and his beard on there. Um, it's a bit more recognisable in person, this is not the best camera, but there you go, that's that one. Moving on to this one, this is a very simple premise, um, this one is basically just um, a Christmas tree. So what you want to do is go ahead and put some baubles on there and maybe some tinsel. So I'm going to take this red nail art white pen. Oops, see this is the thing when you've got so many nails on the go. Had a bit of an accident there with Santa's beard. There we go though, fixed it. So the next one, um, so we're just going to put some baubles on here. Just nice red circles. It's also a little bit reminiscent of holly so you could actually just make it two big round circles and make it holly. That's up to you. The green and the red always looks nice together, doesn't it? So I'm just going to leave it at the three there. And then what I want to do is I want to take a glittery one and put a bit of tinsel on. So it's just a case of drawing some lines across. And the great thing about this is it's not hugely silvery pigmented. So when that dries, it just leaves a nice little trail of glitter there. So that is the Christmas tree. The next one is your candy cane and so we're just going to go ahead and do some stripes across here. I think I'd rather go in at this one with the nail varnish from Models On in Red Alert. And we'll just start at the top corner and just take off that corner there and then go ahead in here and we'll take another stripe across the nail. There we go, and um, we'll just put a tiny dab in the bottom corner. And then even if you make something of a bit of a mess, like I kind of have there to be honest, a bit distracted there, um, we'll wait for that to dry and we'll go in with the white and make that nice and neat. The next one, the idea of this one is a little bit of a snow scene. I um, don't know how well this one's going to work. But you just want to put a little bit of snow at the bottom. The blue is the sky. The idea of this is you do want this to look rough and jagged because it's the snow line on the ground and it wouldn't be in a perfect line. So I'll do that and then just add some little dots. And that is the snow. snow on there. Oh. I'll keep this wide. Yeah, the red has now gone quite tacky. I'm actually just gonna go in there. That's it. Clean up that line. Much better. And clean up this line here. Oh, sorry. Still not used to these nail tutorials. There we go. And then the last one's very simple. Basically, this is just supposed to be mulled wine. We're just going to take some silver glitter polish. I'll paint it over and then I'll look at the bottom for the colour because I've actually already owned that one ready. And just a quick coat of glitter just because it's just meant to be sparkling wine or sparkling red wine. It's just the idea of the kind of silver and the ruby reds really for the kind of the Christmas colours. This one is called Silver Fox and this is just a plain silver glitter. 
So those are my Christmas nails, which I'm going to finish off with a little bit of silver fox on your Christmas scene. We're just going to add a little bit of a sparkle to the snowy area and a little bit to those dots, but we're not going to coat the whole nail. So that's it. I'm going to add some photos in at the end for you. I'm really sorry I was a little bit clumsy at points during this, um, but I hope you enjoy the finished sort of results. I'm actually going to take this silver polish and see if I can do a little bit of a better job of this tinsel. Oh yeah, that's much better. These glitter nail polishes from Models On are incredibly pigmented. They're really pretty. There you go, I've got a couple of lines of tinsel going across that nail. So I'll add the photos in the end. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's Vlogmas. Like I say, it's just a quick nail tutorial, a couple of different ideas for you. And hopefully you'll tune in for tomorrow's Vlogmas and um, you'll enjoy that one. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.